I'm here with Trudy Childer from King's College London to discuss some of the implications of the PACE trial. Thanks for joining us, Trudy. Now, why has this area been so controversial in the past? I think it's probably been controversial for a number of reasons. I think um, quite a few patients have had um, difficulties in that they may have gone to the GP, for example, and asked for some specific advice about what to do about their symptoms, or they may have gone to see any health professional and been given the advice to take up exercise. And of course, just given that kind of bland advice without any encouragement or help or support over a period of time, it can actually make people feel worse. But I think when graded exercise therapy and CBT are carried out in a very measured way with the support of a therapist, the effect is, is quite different. And how important is the opinion of patient groups and how confident are you that you can bring them on board with this? I mean, I think that we've been working very closely with the patient organisations over a number of years, both in terms of this trial and in our clinic. And um, my experience, my personal experience, and I think the experience of people on the team, is that people um, in the patient organisations have an open mind and that they're willing to work with us in developing treatments and they've been involved in um, the treatments that we offered in the context of this trial. So what now? How easy is it going to be to roll out CBT and GET on a wider scale? I think there's definitely um, people around who are d delivering these treatments already. There's a clinical group who get together to discuss new treatments that are coming out and they make sure that clinicians working in the field are in fact delivering those potentially effective interventions. So I think the will is there. Well Trudy, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you.